it has a restaurant called the Boma restaurant. And I got to experience, you know, in person, some African drum music, and I'm still feeling it to this day. It was wonderful. But yeah, getting back. Welcome back, family. And if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Guys, I am really excited about Kenya. I'm really looking forward to visiting the Maasai people in Kenya. But I also hear that there's also Maasai in Tanzania. And did I tell you guys that I'm also planning to travel to Tanzania? Did I tell you about that? Well, well, now you know. Guys, drop me a comment. Have you visited the Maasai people already? Drop me a comment, guys. Where are you watching from? As for me, I'm in Georgia in the USA. Uh, please check out my playlist, the other places that I've traveled to already in Africa, okay? Also, guys, if you haven't seen my videos yet on the orphanage projects that I have coming up in Kenya, check out my playlist on feeding the children in Africa. Check out my playlist. But yes, guys, I am looking forward to visiting and experiencing uh, the Maasai people. You know, they have a very rich culture. So I'm looking forward to learning about their culture, okay? And I'm also interested, of course, in the music. Maasai, they're big for their music and their dancing, their jumping techniques and everything. I cannot wait to enjoy the Maasai music. Have you experienced it before? Have you danced with the Maasai people before? Drop me some comments, please, because I'm so excited about that part of my trip. Mm, I really am. So yeah, so now the closest thing that I've done to that in terms of dancing with the Maasai people or dancing with African music is actually my trip to uh, Zimbabwe. Check out my Africa trips playlist, please, okay? Check it out, drop me some comments, let me know what you think. But I did visit Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has a restaurant called the Boma Restaurant. And I got to experience, you know, in person, some African drum music, and I'm still feeling it to this day. It was wonderful. But yeah, getting back. To the Maasai. I love the culture that I'm learning about so far, just reading about it, but I'm going to experience it firsthand when I travel to, to Kenya. So I'm looking forward to that, the culture. I'm looking forward to the music, yes, the food, yes. I heard they really, they put together an incredible barbecue for people, okay? Because the Maasai people, they're so large, they're so spread out. Um, they have a lot of tourist attractions also. That's what I hear, the Maasai people. So yeah, I'm interested in participating, all right, and enjoying their barbecues, okay, their, their, uh, their traditional dance. I'm interested in that. And also, I love uh, the Maasai, their attire, okay? First of all, first of all, do you guys know, why do they wear red? You know, every time I see a Maasai, you know, their main, the main color that they're wearing is red. Do you know? Drop me a comment, please. I'll tell you later on in this video what I've read so far, read so far about uh, why they wear red. I'll tell you that shortly. But drop me a comment. Do you already know? Let me know. So, yeah, um, so I am really um, enthusiastic about experiencing the Maasai people. I am. Have you experienced it already yourself? Drop me some comments, please. Okay. Yeah, so I hear that the Maasai people, okay, 
They're big on their traditions, very rooted in their culture. That's what I hear. And you know what, guys? Did I tell you that I actually have a friend of mine, okay? His name is Melogy, all right? Check out his channel when you get a chance, Melogy Lifestyle. He's a YouTuber, also out of Kenya, East Africa, and he happens to be a Maasai. So, uh, you know, when I'm, I'm really looking forward to learning about Maasai from him firsthand when we visit each other, okay, while I'm in Kenya. So, you know, I, I feel privileged that I actually have a Maasai friend, okay? I do. So let me tell you a little bit about what I've uh, researched so far in terms of... Um, in terms of what the color, why they wear red. This is what I found out. The red stands for bravery, okay? Uh, it represents the blood, okay? And there's one other thing. Let me find that for you. Um, so bravery, the blood, the red represents the blood, and also... The red represents unity. So that I that I could definitely identify with because everything that I've researched about the Maasai people, they definitely stick together. So unity is definitely um, something that I can connect with. So I'm really, I, you know, I'm really looking forward to visiting and exploring and experiencing the Maasai people. Let me know in the comment section, what has been your experience with the Maasai people? Are you planning a trip to Kenya or Tanzania where the, where the Maasai people is heavily populated? Drop me some comments, please. So I am looking forward to both uh, traveling to Kenya as well as Tanzania and especially visiting and experiencing the, the Maasai people. I am. So, my goodness, um, I've heard, <coughs> you know, I've heard lots of different things about the Maasai people. Drop me some, drop me some comments, guys. What have you heard about the Maasai people? Whatever you've heard about the Maasai people, drop me some comments. Let's have a chat about it in the comment section, please. Yeah, so I am looking forward to that trip to Kenya as well as Tanzania. Um, I, I admire, I admire a people, okay, that unite so, so rooted, you know, they are rooted in their culture, they are, they are rooted in their unity, and I admire that tremendously, I do. Let me know, guys, uh, if you've experienced the Maasai people already, okay, you know, what, you know, what was your... You know, what was your inner thoughts about, you know, how you felt among the Maasai people? Let me know. Let me know. Because I'm just, you know, I am, I'm really and really looking, I'm thoroughly interested in experiencing them. I am. I am. So I've also, you know, so I've, you know, I understand, my understanding is that my, I also am aware that the Maasai, I'm also aware that the Maasai, they're known for being tremendous warriors. That's the history, that they've got a strong warrior history. That's, that's what I've read. Have you read the same? Drop me some comments on that. So, yeah. So guys, I'm looking forward to that trip. Uh, to Kenya as well as Tanzania, not just working with the orphanage, but also experiencing the Maasai culture. Guys, as always, I hope you like my content. I hope you do. If you like my vibe, if you like my energy, please subscribe. When you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, that's how the channel grows. And that's how I can continue to be a blessing to the children in the orphanages all across Africa. 